Hello guys, uh, we're going to be doing a video on a command, it's called the twist command. Uh, it's a pretty simple command, but it's a good, it's a good uh, one to know. Uh, my videos are intended to uh, teach you some of the, you know, uh, some, some of the powerful tools that you can use on Rhino and that you can apply to your own uh, practice. So these are just some examples of what you can develop on the twist command and let me start off with something new. So I'm gonna hit control N. I like to work in millimeters. So as you know the twist command is exactly what it says. Let's start with just making a simple rectangular object. So I'm going to go 24 by 24. Let me go to shaded. Let me scale this. So I want to twist this, this geometry. So one of the things I need to establish is the twisting point. Uh, so the way I do this is that I like to create a line that signifies the midpoint of this geometry. So I'm just going to draw a line and you'll see what I do when I do the command. So I'm going to type twist. I'm going to select the object. Now it's asking me for the start of the twist. So I want to have this in the middle to be, so it's twisted in that. And then it's asking me for the end of the twist axis. So it's, I, I will click on this. Now it, it is asking me for the first reference point to twist. So I'm just going to click here. And as you can see, as I move it around, you can see the thing is, is, is twisting. So, I am going to go here. Let me see. Let's see what the result is. And so this is what happens when I twist it at uh, 270 degrees. Uh, and you can also type how much you want to twist it. So I'm going to undo this. Let me type the twist command again. I'm going to select the objects. I'm going to click on this as the reference point. So let's see, I'll type 270. And you can see you, you get the same result. Now let's see if I, what happens when I increase the number substantially. Let's say I go 1,000. And then now you can see that the twist gets even more crazy because I've, I've just twisted it. Uh, almost three revolutions. So we can we know that a one revolution is 360 degrees. So we put this in a thousand. Now, now one 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 good uh, geometry to model when you're using the twist is rope. So let me divide this into three segments. I'm gonna draw my, do a circle. Oops. Let me extrude this. I can array this. Hold on, let me, oops. Let me extrude this even more. I'm gonna type the array curve command. I'm going to select this. I'm going to select the curve. Hit enter. I'm going to select this as the path. Items. Three. Now, how would I create the revolving axis in such a situation like this to get uh, something that looks like rope? Well, the best way to do that strategy is to group this. Oops, I'll group this right here, and then I'll type box, bounding box. So hit enter. Now the bounding box command is, is a really great command because it basically, it, 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 it compresses your geometry into, 
into a box. And with that said, you can really do some interesting manipulations. And this command is also in Grasshopper. And it's also great because you can analyze your geometries with the box command. And you'll see what I'll do. With the box, I'm able to get the center point from the top and the bottom. So let me go to my twist command. I'm gonna select the group. The bottom axis is this point. Top axis is this point. I'm gonna go like this. And this is what happens when you uh, twist it in 360 degrees. Let me do another geometry. Let's see what happens if I take this. Let me array. Hold on, let me extrude this. Let me array. Let me array how many items? Let's say six. And then I'll do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to type bounding box and hit enter. Now I can figure out the centroid really easily with the bounding box. I'm just going to draw my line and then snap to the midpoint. So let me select these items as a group. Oops. I'm going to select these items. I'm going to hit control to deselect the bounding box group. So I'm going to type twist. I'm going to get this point as a, as a start axis and then this point as the end axis. And I'm going to just type 700. Let's see what happens. So you can see there is a, a pretty interesting geometry out here. And you know, with this geometry in mind, you can create some other interesting ideas. For example, let me, let's see. So let me do a bounding box. Let me, let me copy this first. Let me type the contour command. I'm going to select, whoops, I'm going to select this. The contour will go here. Let me see what happens if I type 55. And then let me. So you can see, you know, you can make this twisting geometry and then you can do a contour and, you know, you can create some interesting uh, ideas like this. Or let's say I want to extrude the surface. I take these surfaces. Extrude that like this. So maybe you can have, you know, a building design that has, you know, some fluidity and then there's a tension in the middle and then it can, comes back to something fluid. Uh, so so this, is, this is basically the twist command and you can develop some really interesting uh, geometries uh, and just, you know, just play around with it and, and see what you can develop. Thank you.